Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right. Let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. Gonna do an evolution of Blur. Yeah. So we got G1. As always. We got Animated. Which I love this car mode. It's beautiful. And we have the Generations. Or this is the United version. This is the Dakar version. So it has a better paint. You can see all that. Nice blue chrome right there. Beautiful, beautiful mold. And we got Tight Returns. Yeah. Then we got the new released, uh, newly released uh, Studio Series from the 86 movie and everything. So pretty cool. Excited to do these. I love going back and transforming some old stuff that you never really touch anymore. So let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Yay! Yeah. All right, folks, there you go. There's Blur and his alt modes. Three of them are kind of like a futuristic hovercraft mode thing going on. And then the other two are car modes and everything. So you got G1, Animated, United, or Generations, Titan Returns, and the Studio Series. So let's take a look at the G1 first, as always. Here's his weapon. Nice little turquoise. Got some scope work in there. No paint. But pretty cool. And here is the G1 mode. Now, mine have seen some better days, like always. Bunch of scratch marks up here. Scuff marks on the paint right there. And a little bit right here as well. And my arm, kind of loose. I mean, it'll stay up there, but if you start moving it around, it will start falling down. You got some scratch marks on the shield as well, or the front of the car. You can see his little face a little bit right there. There you go, got some stickers. Underneath, got some wheels that will roll. Some die casts, his legs are die casts. Some other parts are die casts as well. So, pretty cool. I like it. It's a nice little uh, hovercraft vehicle type thing. So, there you go. That is the G1. Then, moving on to animated. And I love this car mode. It's one of my favorite alt modes in animated. Really nicely done. I love it. Now this is his weapon right here. It's like a chainsaw blade, whatever. I'll show you better in uh, bot mode. Nice translucent blue. Got some kind of a darker blue uh, paint right there. A light blue right here for paint. Love the black, all blacked out uh, windows and everything. Love the little blue around the rims and everything. Mine's been a little chipped off and everything a little bit just because of uh, wear and tear over the years. Nice blue right here. But really futuristic car. I love it. I love the car mode, man. It's really nicely done. Once again, blue right here, light blue. Underneath, you can see his head right here with the little spoiler thing. Nice red for the tail lights. It does roll just fine. I don't know if you saw that, but anyway, it's really nicely done. I love the car mode on this. Looks really good. So there you go. Nicely done. That is animated. Then moving on to Generations. Now he does have three guns. He has Now these can store in the uh, the uh, doors. And I'll show that in bot mode as well. You can store them in there. But two guns, two little pistols. Just some scope work in there. No paint. You get two of those. And he does have a sniper rifle too as well. And it, it stores right there. So that's good. But you can store these in the doors and everything. The little guns and everything. But let's take a look at this one. Like I said, this is the United one, so beautiful paint jobs. Got the blue chrome all the way around it. The light blue, the nice Autobot symbol right there. Looks good. Got some silver for the rims. Nice uh, blacked out for the uh, headlights. Like I said, this is a better uh, color version of the uh, blur and everything from the original. Or for the Hasbro one. Once again, black paint right here. Could have used a little more black tint to the window so you wouldn't see inside, but it's fine. Nice silver paint and red paint right there for the tail lights. Like I said, you can take this off. I think you can, golly, come on now. Here's a snapper rifle. Like that. Now you can add these on right here as well. You can use them as a tripod or something like that. There's a little Two marks in here, and you can do this. If I can grab the other gun, come on now. And you 
can maybe use it as a tripod as well. <clears throat> no paint, once again, just some sculpt work in there. But this is a beautiful car model. I don't know what kind of car it is. Kind of looks like a Ford GT or something. I don't know what that is called. Underneath, but beautiful. Love the chrome. The blue chrome looks really good. Really stands out. So there you go. That is the United version of Blur. And moving on to Time Returns. And he does have a headmaster. His name is Hyperfire, I think. Everybody knows. If you don't know by now, this was the gimmick. And uh, they all had masters. Take a look at his weapon. <coughs> now it's painted silver, which looks really good. It's got some sculpt work in there as well. And you can store it right here as well. Now here's his little headmaster. And he's got some paint on him too as well. So that's good. It's got some silver down the uh, arm. And got a nice little light blue paint for the face and everything. And some gum metal paint right down there as well. Wow, so that's good. So you just transform him. And there's the head. We'll look at him a little more when he gets transformed. So there you go. Nicely done. Once again, staying truthful to the uh, the uh, G1. Especially, you know, with that and everything. Nice light blue paint right here. Some little darker blue right here. Also paint right here. Nice Autobot symbol. Let's say you can put the little Headmaster down there. Or Titan Master. A little spoiler right there. Got some blaster right there. Underneath. Looks pretty good. Wheels all well, so it will uh, roll. So, nicely done. I like the alt mode. Sleek and slim and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Well, there you go. That is Titan Returns. And last but not least, moving on to the Studio Series. It just got released. Now, he does have two weapons, or not weapons, but one is kind of like a welder kind of thing going on. We'll go over his hand. Just white plastic. Nothing special. A little sculpt work in there. And then his weapon. All white as well. Just some skull work. No paint. Which, that sucks. We'll say paint the weapon. But, nicely done. Kind of looks really similar to this one. But, stays truthful to the uh, G1. Nice blue paint. Blue paint right here. Nice little clear window or a translucent right there. For the dash. Or for the, no, that's the dash right in there. Um, I don't think anything can really rot in there. It's really small. Um, nice little Autobot symbol. Nicely done. Some paint right here. A little spoiler. Some blue paint right here. Not a ton of paint on this guy, but, you know, it goes well. There's his blasters or thrusters. Once again, got the little hovercraft mode. So it looks pretty good. I like it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there you go. That is the alt mode for Blur from G1 to Studio Series. Neato Petito. Graphagonic, some pepper spray, and crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, folks, back from transformation, and there is Blur in his bot mode. So let's take a look at G1. Now, the thing, you know, the front thing came in, turns into a shield, holds the weapon just fine. There's the head sculpt. Looks good. Yeah, it's fine. Nice uh, paint, all that's paint right there, yellow paint right there. Like I said, I got a bunch of scratches on my front there. Nicely done. Head doesn't move, well, I'm sorry, it does move up and down a little bit. So that's good. Uh, all the way around for the arms, and that is about it. Uh, no waist swivel, uh, nothing a little bit for the feet. You can move back just because transformation. Does have a knee bend. <laughs> Don't know why, but there you go. Nice ratcheted, and the toes will go down just because of transformation. And you got the back. I don't think they'll stay up like that. Cleans up pretty good. So, like I always say with G1, you just gotta use your imagination. And there you go. That is G1 Blur. Then moving on to animated, and I once again I love this figure. It's just so sleek and slender, like he just can run fast, you know, just like Blur. Now, like I said, the front is his weapon. You can do that, flip it out. And everything like that so it turns into like a little saw blade or something like that nice translucent blue everything so you can use it on either hand it tabs into the side right here so pretty cool there's the weapon right there it's just this hood with the little saw blade so let's take a closer look and i love the head sculpt you just mean bugging right there tons of light popping right well not tons of but it's right here you can see the beautiful blue eyes. 
nice paint on the face right there and a little goatee right there as well. And you got a little, this is flexible soft paint. So you can look down, look up quite a bit, side to side, and give you a little attitude as well. I like the head sculpt, pretty cool. All right, not much, so you can't really go very, you can go up to there, right there. He's got the 80s woman's working shoulder pad right up here. Now you can go all the way around. Um, this won't stay, it stay tabbed in, but then you do have a bicep swivel right there. And that's about it. Nothing for the hands. You do got paint right here, dark blue as well. You got some black paint right here. Well, that might be just black plastic. You got the Autobot symbol. You got the blue right here on their abdomen area. He does have a waist swivel, so that's pretty cool. And this does, does stay tabbed in that well. But we will move on. All right. Uh, not the full Van Dam, just about out to there. Kick up and kick back. Nice blue paint right here. Black plastic, nice breakup right there. So, um, thigh swivel. No, doesn't have a thigh swivel. A little one, but uh, not much of a big one. So, that kind of sucks. He does have, just called transformation, does have like something like that. You can do a little outward movement. Uh, 90 degree for the knee bend. And then he does have a swivel right here. So I guess I could cover up for the uh, no thigh swivel or you no know, thigh swivel. Uh, toe tail up, down, a uh, little rocker, not much. And you got the kickstand in the back as well. I love how the tires are down there like that. That's pretty cool. And he cleans up really good too as well. A little backpack right here, but not much. But I like it. I like I love this figure. It's really awesome. It's one of my favorite ones out of the animated line. And he's pretty cool. He's fast. So there you go. That is animated blur. All right, moving on to Generations, or United. This is United Virgin's Japanese version. Like I said, remember I said you can put the pistols in here. So there they do uh, store right there. And they do fit in his hands. And here is the sniper rifle. Now you do have a place for the uh, rifle as well. If you don't want to hold it. If I can get it out of his hand. Golly, he's in there good. Golly, almost took down my whole system. <laughs> All right, now like I said, you got this little spot right here and you can just tab it in. You can move that down. You can tab it in right here and you can hold his uh, sniper rifle in the back right there. So there's always that option as well. So pretty cool, that's where I that take care of all of his uh, weapon storage and everything. All right, let's take a closer look at the United version of Blur. Now, this is the IDW kind of a take on him, and it was originally used as a drift mold, and they just retooled it and repainted everything. So, beautiful head sculpt. I love it. Nicely painted. Like I said, this is better painted because it is the Japanese version. So that all that blue is really is painted and the silver is painted. And you got some nice silver eyes as well. You got a little head crest up here. Now you can look down. Uh, look up quite a bit, side to side, mm, no attitude, anything like that. And he also has the 80s woman's working uh, shoulder pads. Now you can go up to there. This gets, I wish that's kind of tabbed in somewhere. Um, so that's about it, is there. Now you can move these. You can move this all the way around if you want. The, the, the only thing that this is one of the bad issues of this, stuff just gets in the way. You got the side skirts. Got the big old shoulder pads, so trying to, you know, to uh, articulate articulate them really well, it's just, it, a lot of stuff just gets in the way. But nice paint, you got some light blue paint right there, right here. Nice chest area, you got the silver paint right here. That covers that, so that's cool. And that does tab in. Uh, it does have a bicep swivel. Uh, 90 degree for the, well, more than 90 degree, I'm sorry. It's got a double elbow right there. Like I said, everything just... Oh, this stuff just gets in the way, golly. But it's beautifully painted, I love it. Um, no waist swivel. You can move these, these go up and down, and they're on a ball joint, so you can move these out of the way. Nice silver paint for the crotch area, so that's good. Um, full Van Dam. kick up, kick back. He does have a nice thigh swivel. Well, there's a cut and a little something right there. Uh, 90 degree for the knee bend. 
once again then the toes are painted and these areas painted uh well that might just be plastic but the toes are painted as well now they don't have very much you can go down and up a little bit that's about it so articulation is kind of lacking but everything just gets in the way and you got the back right here so once again that beautiful paint job the chrome the blue chrome looks really freaking awesome and there you go so yeah stuff gets in the way so that is united blur then up next is time return blur and there he is he's a headmaster he holds his weapon just fine it is nicely painted you can put it on either hand so head sculpt looks pretty good you know it's different and all it does side to side and that's about it you get a little attitude as well all right hand, arms go up to there all the way around you got a bicep swivel uh 90 degree for the elbow bend swivel of the hand as well waist swivel so that's good band down kick up and kick back little swivel up here and they got a cut right there 90 degree for the knee bend moving on down you got some nice silver and red paint right there and with the toes all you get is a toe tilt up and that is it i think they could have thrown a rocker there maybe they could have put in a little something there but they didn't and with the you know with the g1 and him and the studio series you get a little arm stuff down there which this one's not too bad it's not too uh, not too bad at all uh oh you can also take this off and use it as a shield just like the g1 so that has an option if you don't want to have a big old backpack but there he is with it on um no waffles really just a little one right here not too bad so there you go yeah i like i like starting returns one it's not too bad i like the i like most of them and blur is a good mold as well I think they used uh, him as Brainstorm as well, too, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think he was used. But there you go. That is the Titan Returns blur. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Studio Series. And there he is holding his weapon just fine. Now, it is really tight in there. Well, there's, uh, It's tight. And like I said, you do have that uh, little welder or something like that little thing so you just put it over it go over the hand like that so that's pretty cool that's a nice little little throw in for that and let's look at the head scope now the head scope like i said with cup it, cup it just looks weird it looks like an anorexic model or something i don't know but it's got white paint uh it does have some uh nice um uh whatever this stuff back here is uh light popping golly uh yellow paint right there a little blue paint right there as well but the head sculpt just looks kind of weird. But anyways, uh, not much down because of the and not much up as well just because of the chin. It's got the J little chin and side to side, and not much add to. All right, love the uh, translucent uh, plastic right there. It goes over the white plastic. It looks good. Nice Autobot symbol. Some blue paint right there, and you can go all the way around. Nice ratchets up to there. Looks pretty good. Uh, Ninety degrees for the knee elbow bend. And a swivel and no swivel well eh, a little bit because of this but it go it, it starts bringing the, the long old stacks right there and those are pretty long they are uh, he's got some uh, big old forearms uh it does have a waist swivel that is good not a whole lot of paint on this uh he does have more paint when in um alt mode that shows up but there you go van dam kick up Kick back, uh, thigh swivel, pretty good. 90 degrees for the knee bend. Uh, some white paint. This white, this paint is uh, this white is painted, so that's good. Um, toe tilt, nothing up or down, but he does have a rocker. And then you got the little backpack, which is not too bad. Nice blue paint right there, and some. Now this, uh, that, uh, the spoiler fills in that gap, but he does have big old waffle right there. So I'm sure somebody from third party is going to try to fill that out or something like that. But yeah, not bad. You know, it's not the greatest, but not terrible either. So there you go. That is a Studio Series Blur. 
And there's Crapagonic, some pepper spray, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for scale. All right, let's take a look at Blur one more time. Look, Evolution from G1 to Studio Series. Looking good. Guess what, folks? I took some pictures. Let's take a look. Yay. All right, hope you like those pictures. Let's talk about some blur. G1, as always, imagination, imaginations, imaginations. I love it. Nicely done. I never got him as a kid. This is like, so I got this guy off of eBay a long time ago, uh, but I never had a blur. But pretty cool, nice die cast. You know, like I said, you just got huge imagination. So pretty cool for a G1 figure, if I say so myself. Then moving on to animated. Love, love, love this one. Love the car mode, the futuristic, sleek, just slender car. I love it. The wheels are awesome. Transformation is fun. The bot mode is awesome. He's got his little, you know, chainsaw thing going on. That's pretty cool. I love the articulation. It's pretty good as well. I just like the overall sculpt of him and everything just really looks good. I just really like this mode. It's a really good mode for animated. So, yeah, very nicely done. One of my favorites from animated is Blur. Pretty cool. Yeah, if I can get you stand up. All right, moving on to Generations, or this is United. And like I said, it has better paint job. Love the car mode. The uh, plat, the uh, blue uh, uh, paint comes off really good. Really nicely done. Uh, transformation is pretty easy. And like I said, this is off the IDW mode. Uh, bot mode. Yeah, you know, like I said during the thing, it just stuff gets in the way. He's got the '80s woman's shoulder pads. Uh, and everything and you got these little side skirt things that also getting away so articulation is kind of lacking because you have to move a lot of stuff to get it into a, a good pose um, if you had a rocker it would have helped a lot that would have been a lot better but like I said I love the car mode I love the you know the blue comes out just the metallic blue comes out really well uh, the bot mode is eh, you know it's just kind of lacking but it looks fine you know if you put it on the shelf it looks really good the blue and the light blue and all the stuff makes it really good and everything the head sculpt I really like the head sculpt it's really a good head sculpt too as well so there you go that is united version of um blur moved on to time returns i like time returns like i said uh it's a good you know good series uh they got some good molds in this one and this is a good one as well uh looks like i think i did they did use it for brainstorm uh, but blur looks good um you know the alt mode looks really nicely done it's like a you know kind of a futuristic uh floating thing you know hovercraft and everything looks good they painted the weapon i like that i always love that headmaster looks good articulation is pretty good paint you know decent not a ton of paint but where it's at it's put on really well so i do like the time returns one it's a good one on both modes and there we go and last but not least studio series i like them you know the alt mode looks really good stays uh you know you know, true to the G1. Transformation is fun. Uh, the bot mode looks pretty good. You know, the head sculpt's kind of wonky a little bit. Not as bad as Cups, but, uh, you know, but he's he's fine. I mean, you know, he's got those big old things right there, but, you know, that's part of uh, Blur. Articulation is really good, you know, across the board, just like all the studio series. Paint, not a ton of paint, but where it's at, it's put on real well. And, you know, I love the blue and white and the dark blue and everything all meshed together. Nice weapon. I like that they threw this little, you know, welder thing in. That's pretty cool. Didn't really have to do that but overall nicely done like i said it's not one of my favorites of the studio series but you know he's up there you know he's pretty good so not too bad not too bad at all so i like it 
So there you go. That is my evolution of Blur from G1 all the way up to Studio Series. And like I said, I love doing this, going back and actually getting to transform the animated one again. It was really fun. I really like doing this stuff and everything. So yeah, I love, hope you liked it. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. Share my stuff out really helps out as well. And I guess I'll see you on the next evolution of a Transformer. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks.